Hey guys, it's Doc from Gold Hog, and guess where we're going today? We're headed up to North Georgia. We're gonna find some gold. We're gonna use the flow pans. We're gonna be running high bankers. So hold on, be right back. Hey guys, it's Doc, and where are we taking you today? Today we're going up to North Georgia. We're going to the Loud Mine, and let me tell you what we're gonna do real fast. Uh, this is an outing that they do, a semi-annual outing at the Loud Mine. It's an organized dig, a dirt party as they call it, and just about every year we go up there. And this time I figured I'd do something a little bit different. I asked everyone that was attending, said, hey, does anyone want a little lesson on the flow pan? A few people had them. They said, sure. So I gathered a little crowd of people up and we did some lessons on the flow pan. So I really didn't organize a video for this thing. That's the important thing to remember on this video. I just sort of put the camera in places and shot the class that I was doing and teaching these people. But it was really cool. Um, ended up grabbing uh, Ashlyn, who's 16 years old, who goes on a lot of these digs. She's been out, uh, I've seen met her a bunch of times. Uh, Ashley is out there. She's new, I've never met her before. She wanted to learn, so I showed her. Um, a lot of these people that were out there were first time users of all of them were first time users of the flow pan a lot of them were inexperienced prospectors but I wanted to sort of just give them a quick class and just sort of prove to them that how easy this is how easy the flow pan is to use before we start with the video real quick uh, see that little red button down there that's the subscribe button click that subscribe button and that way you won't miss any videos that are coming out in the future and the next thing for, uh, if you don't know about the flow pan, just real quick, I'm not gonna give you a flow pan video lesson here, but the flow pan has been under development for several years. We just launched it this year in 2018. It's the first portable gold pan that actually breaks down. You can actually put it under your car seat, you can put it in a backpack, and with the use of only six wing nuts, you it assembles into this large portable gold pan. Really tough really strong really durable lifetime warranty but the beautiful thing about this about the flow pan is that it uses our new patent pending cross flow technology so essentially what it does is it speeds up the process of panning in other words you no longer have to worry so much about removing all the extra material yes it works like a regular pan it is a gold pan it's not a sluice it's not a handheld sluice it's not a classifier it's a gold pan but we introduced this and we can introduce this cross flow technology on any pan and essentially what it does is it helps move material out once you stratify the material once the gold settles then this process these cross flow vents technology on this pan actually helps remove the other material the key to the flow pan is learning how to use it how much flow to use when to stop using the flow and when to just kick out those extra rocks with your hand especially when you're targeting fine gold i think that's really the key to it and that's what i was trying to get across these people with ashland we used super fine gold we used like 50 to 200 mesh gold with the other folks i threw in all kinds of gold we had fine gold we had big gold we had pickets pickers we had nuggets but i wanted to put a mix in there just so they could get a feel for it so anyways as you're watching this video just know that a lot of this stuff really wasn't prepared i'm just putting together just footage that was out by the creek as i was given a class i just turned the camera on so sometimes i'm not even on camera so uh let's go look at this video real quick hey guys it's doc and uh i grabbed ashlyn today ashlyn i've seen ashlyn for three years I think, uh, <laughs> she travels around at the uh the outings oh, we got you're all right you're good we got crossers coming they're getting picking dirt up across the creek and coming across with the dirt so that's what they're doing so anyways uh, i'm here with ashlyn today and i'm gonna teach ashlyn and her papa bought her a flow pan and he said teach her how to use it so she can teach me so that's what we're doing today we're actually gonna we're actually gonna teach her how to use the flow pan but what i did is i brought some dirt with some really fine gold in it so we're gonna start off hard before we start off easy so let's go ahead and let's teach it so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to go in the creek, and I'm just going to submerge it. I'm just going to let it come in. You'll watch, the water will sort of swirl in around on it. Oh, wow. Isn't that cool? Yeah. And then all I'm going to do is, I'm just going to very, I'm just going to agitate, okay? Agitate. And a lot of times, I can even just do this without even turning up creek. 
Then I just take my big rocks and kick them up. So wow. I've got a, I, I've got a yeah it is quick. I've got a lot of flow here. So uh, I may not even turn it this way. I don't even really have to sometimes, but I want to show you doing it. So let me get some more dirt. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna let it submerge. See how I do that? I get like real aggressive with it? Yeah. And then I just turn it into the flow like this. Watch what happens. See how it clears out? Yeah. Now, the finer the gold I'm going after, the less I use the flow. And I might just go ahead and just rake these out like that. So what she's going to do is just let it slowly submerge and you'll see the water bend at the knees. Yeah, there you go. And now go ahead and keep it underwater. Don't lift it up. Now go back and forth. What I really want to get the feel of it is really light fingers. Really light fingers and this. Let the pan go like that. Feel that? Yeah, you really want to just let that pan really get aggressive. Keep it under the water, don't lift it up. That's the biggest mistake people make is they keep lifting the pan up. And now you can stop, lift it up. Now I want you to just, just turn. Oops, I think that's great. Turn sideways. Turn your whole body sideways. There you go. Just, just slowly submerge it. Now shake it gently side to side. Faster, harder. There you go. Tip this side down a little bit. And it will clear that stuff out. Now stop, bring it up, and just kick those rocks. Just kick those rocks out. Okay, so now turn back the other way. I'll give you some more dirt. I see a little piece. Oh, wow. All right. So simple, Ashlyn can do it. <laughs> she's gonna, <laughs> she's gonna submerge it. Now twist it back and forth. Get it deeper. There you go. Keep it deep. Now get, go back and forth, real quick and aggressive. There you go. Now turn sideways. That is so yep. Pretty. Let it go down in the water and just jiggle it. And let this side drop down a little bit. There you go, stop, bring it up. And if you have any big rocks, you would kick the big rocks out. So let me get some more dirt for you. You let the water flow out of it gently. Okay. All right, so one thing I do want to talk about is today, we're hunting super fine gold and we're in this heavy, heavy clay crap. Yeah, and a lot of people want to bring it up out of the flow, and you want to get it, keep it in the flow. Now shake it circle-wise. There you go. Now shake it back and forth, and now stop and turn. Stop, you're good. Once you see it clear out, stop. You don't need to go any farther. That's what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to lower it, and you really got to get this, just let it all sort of get built. Start off small. See that action right there? Yeah. That's the key action. That That is the key action for a flow pan. Right there. Turn it sideways. And here's here's the point that I want her to understand. When it's clear, it's clear. I need to stop. See that? See how clear it is? Just kick these rocks up. I don't want to get down to a bare metal. I just want to get down to the point where I get most of that stuff out. So the problem is, is we're sitting here right in the middle of the pathway, by the way. We don't have any room to work, and we don't have big boots on. So I'm going to do a crappy job cleaning the map. And then what I'm going to do is we're going to take it over here and pin it. Oh, wow. Holy crap. That is insane. Look at all that fine gold. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we're not talking nuggets or we're talking pickers. I wanted to show her using 50 to 200 mesh gold. Is that a little garnet in there? Yeah, it looks like a little garnet. 
But this is what I wanted to show her. So I'm gonna grab this camera. So there we go. That's what we're talking about. Now that was doing that bucket five minutes talking in a flow pan. First time user, 16 years old, Ashlyn. What do you think? I love it. It's badass, isn't it? Yeah, it's the best pan I've ever worked with. You just said what? It's the best pan I've ever worked with. <laughs> it's the greatest thing since sliced white bread. <laughs> <laughs> she said she loves it. Anyways, they bought one. I was talking about it up at the camp meeting. Her pop bought one for her. So now I stole it. I said, well, I'll go teach her and then she can teach you. He said, I'm too old to go learn that. Tell her, teach her and she'll teach me. So now she knows. But I wanted to teach her the right way on super fine gold so that she'd feel confident on pickers and larger gold as well, too. So there's a guy in Canada, the first time he took it out, he found a three and a half gram nugget. Wow. So big gold, yes. Small gold, yes. Pretty cool thing. You have fun? A lot. <laughs> cool stuff. Let's get back to the meat in here. Let me show you the gold again. Okay, so we're doing another flow pan class. I got a bunch of people over here. We're going to do a flow pan. Ashley's going to do it this time. So she's never used a flow pan before, right? Correct. So she's going to try it too. So I'm going to show her. Again, I think the biggest part of this teaching aspect is look for me to look at for corrections. In other words, and for you to watch in viewer land, you'll be able to say, oh, she's doing that wrong. So that's kind of what we want to look for. We want to look for the corrections. Oh, I just watched Ashlyn do it. Now Ashley's doing it, but Ashley's doing it wrong. So you can sort of learn that way. So what I, what I want you to do is get some of your dirt. Uh, how to put this. Start off with a tenth of the amount of material that you think you should put in. Start off really, really small when you start off. Mm -hmm. So all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put a, I'm just gonna put a couple of handfuls. This is excavated pay, so it's nasty. So I'm gonna show her, I'm gonna demonstrate, and I'm gonna demonstrate right over here. See this black tab? That black tab always faces up the creek. So I've got it facing the wrong way. So I want that black tab faces up creek. But now we're gonna turn, I want the creek running through your leg. And all we're gonna do is when I submerge this pan, when I submerge this pan, what's gonna happen is, is the water is gonna actually come in from the side to do this. So that's what's actually gonna happen. So when I bring it down, you'll see the water actually come in and submerge it. So there really is no exchange, nothing has left my pan. So all I'm gonna do is, is I'm just gonna just gently just, it's, it's a quarter of an inch jiggle. It's just a little jiggle like this. Spin it a little bit, jiggle it, jiggle it. Now, all my gold is at the bottom. That's how fast. Gold is real heavy, so it's at the bottom. So now all I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna turn into the water flow, and I'm just gonna jiggle, and sort of go down like this. Now, the important thing is, is don't try and do too much. I think the biggest mistake people make is, is they try and get it down to a clean, bare, black mat. You don't wanna do that. Just kick your rocks out, and put more dirt in. So you want to leave concentrates in the mat, and that's the point that I really try and stress to people is make sure that you're leaving concentrates in the mat. Cut. Now I'm going to break in on this video real quick because one of the things that I always try and get across to people is when they're using the flow pan is understanding how much flow to use in the pan. If I'm in an area and all I have is super fine powder gold, I'm going to use a lot less force. If I'm somewhere like in Georgia or North Carolina and I've got pickers and nuggets and I've got all kinds of mixed gold, I would be pretty aggressive with it. But it's a wonderful tool for testing. It truly is a great thing for testing. You just have to understand how do I change my flow? How do I modify that flow? And that's a good point to learn. And that's good. So now what I'm gonna do is, I don't know what's in here, I'll be honest, I have no idea. But I know that there's, this is like old concentrates. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a pinch on top. So the gold is on top. So now what I want you to do is I want you to work the pan, just like I showed so you So that's there. the way you're gonna work it first. Let it, wait, let it, sink it down. And now gently start to shake. And now get a little more violent with your shakes and really sort of, and just do a little bit of a spin like I showed you. There you go. 
Good. Now your gold is at the bottom. So what I want you to do is I want you to turn sideways. So let the pan go down and now shake again. And you'll see that what ends up happening is, is you can see the flow of what's coming out. Now keep the pan lower, let the flow do it. And then what I want you to do is get the flow where this side comes down a little bit more. Okay. And now just give it a shake. Good. Now bring it up, stop, and let the water drain out. Just let the water drain out. Okay. And now just take those, take those out and put more dirt in. More. The secret sauce on top. <laughs> okay, there it is. Keep it in the water. Okay, and now I want to show you something. Here's a correction. So most people, when they do this, they end up going like this. And what I want to see is once you get it stratified, once you get that material worked down, just like that. Now I'm going to turn it into the flow and just shake it. And then as I shake it, I'm going to lift it. I want to bring some of that rocks out. I can bring some of the rocks out. But you can see I'm leaving rocks and concentrates in here. I'm not really worried about it. Okay. But one more. All right. Don't hold it tight. Sort of hold it loose with your fingers and that way it'll, you can really sort of jiggle it. There you go. Now you can turn into the flow. Drain your water out. Good, and just scrape the extra rocks out. All right, now we're gonna clean it out. We're gonna put it in a pan. And I'm gonna put my mat in here. And I'm gonna go upside down. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bend it. When I bend it, the mat opens up and it releases all the concentrates. So I just bend it like this and wash it, bend it, and wash it, bend it, and wash it. Watch the left side, the left corner of this pan. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tap. Oh yep. Already seen some. Oh wow. This is the this is the opposite end of the spectrum here. Wow. Last time, the last video we did, we did nothing but 150 to 200 mesh gold, but this time, <laughs> let's see all the small stuff. Wow, here. yeah. That's awesome. That guy got away. Yeah, that guy's, he's a pretty big one. Oh, yeah. Ooh, oh, yeah. Nice. <laughs> so, what we did was, is we took this nasty clay soil and we put the gold where? on top. We put gold on top in the flow pan. She worked it, first time user. Let me actually get the camera and show you what it is because I got to shade it out so you can see it. And that's what we got. Now this time we got all kinds of big stuff. We got little stuff. We got a good mixture in there. Anyone that wants to use one can use the flow pan and I'll let them keep the gold they find. How's that? <laughs> so this is mine? Yeah, that's yours. <laughs> God. She's gonna make a great wife someday. I've already learned. She, she's gonna make a great wife.
here. All right, so this is Ashley's pan from that. Next one, and I'm gonna get the camera real quick and I'm gonna show you. Say hi, Ashley. Hi. You're supposed to say hi, Ashley. Hi, Ashley. <laughs> there it is. All right, we're gonna do another one. Look at them all. <laughs> like vultures out here. <laughs> we're gonna baptize everybody today. All right, this is the booking station. State your name. I'm Dennis. Dennis. <laughs> this is Dennis's pan. And it took um just a he was out there for two minutes. Yeah, maybe. So I put a little gold on where? On the very top. On the very top and had him work this nasty clay crap. So let's go ahead and here, come here and hold it so I'm shaded. There's his. Works bad, man. Works bad. <laughs> so my uh so my camera's crooked, but state your name for the record. Josh. Josh. <laughs> <laughs> So this is Josh's pan. Now you said something interesting, because you, do you own a flow pan? Yes sir, I bought one this year. He bought a flow pan. And he was like, I'm wondering, tell me what you were asking, what you were thinking, is it? Uh, well, I was wondering, was it as easy as you might look on the YouTube video that I watched it on? And, and it you just used will. it and? It absolutely will. There you go. So let me show you his pan. Look at me, smile pretty. <laughs> <laughs> get, get in the shade, man. Yeah, look at that. Now there's fine gold up at the top, but and is that cool or what? That's Absolutely some cool shit. Cool. <laughs> it's <Absolutely> easy. Cool. <laughs> it's easy. <laughs> State your name for the record, I'm Henry. <laughs> hey. I love doing that crap. Oh Henry! <laughs> oh Henry! <laughs> and we're gonna show you his pan. Nice now what did pan. you say? Now what did you say? You wish you had one. What? I wish I had one on Sunday setting up the dredge. Why? To do some sampling. There Tell you me. go. And this is easier than running my. Uh, Stream sluice, to be honest with you. Don't have to set it up. Don't have to worry about the flow. Don't have to adjust the stream sluice. You just go out to a spot. You dig a whole bunch of dirt. You run it, you run it, you run it. You pull your mat, put it in your pan, and you check it and say, should I set up my dredge here? That's what we're talking about. That's where this thing really, really shines. Would you? Would I use this as a primary prospecting piece of equipment if I was in a pan-only area? That's is the only thing I'd use, but I mainly use it for scouting. So let's look at his gold. Stand over here so you can shade it out. Smile, Henry. <laughs> so nice Look looking. at that. That is just gorgeous. Simply gorgeous. You have a flow pan, and you're watching this guy on YouTube using this flow pan. You're thinking to yourself, can it really be this easy? And you just used it for the first time, and you said... Absolutely. It was just as easy as Doc made it look on it. <laughs> <laughs> it is. It really is simple. And that's why I wanted to. The first thing I did was I got... Uh, Ashlyn out here and I got Ashley out here. Ashlyn is 16. How old is Ashley? But I wanted inexperienced people to go after fine gold and show that. So anyways guys, good little lesson down at the creek with a whole bunch of people on the flow pan. Talk to you later. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you click that subscribe button and I'll talk to you later. Dot Goldhawk.